Hey guys, it's Inka, and today I'm going to be testing out five celebrity grilled cheese recipes to find out which one is actually the best. On today's lineup, we have Martha Stewart, Chrissy Teigen, The Game, Anthony Porofsky, and Kylie Jenner. I measured out all of the ingredients exactly as the recipe stated, and since I'm home alone, I will also be acting as a taste tester, and I will be as fair and as impartial as I possibly can be. So, which celebrity has the best grilled cheese? Let's find out. Okay, so first up we have Martha Stewart. She spreads on a generous amount of butter to each slice of white bread, making sure that it's evenly coated. And then on the other side, she spreads on some fig jam. Again, making sure that everything is covered. And then she puts on some Gruyere cheese, as well as some sliced pear, which is pretty interesting. And then tops it off with more cheese before sandwiching it all together. Then she just goes ahead and grills it in the pan, making sure that it's perfectly golden brown on both sides and slice it in half. And there you have it, Martha Stewart's grilled cheese. This one has a lot of not cheese-like ingredients inside. There's like that sweet jam and pear. I'm gonna give this a try and try to get both the jam and the fruit in. It's a little different, but it's not bad. It's almost like a sweet treat, like a jammy sandwich. I also feel a little bit like I'm eating a cheese plate, but in a bread, you know, when you have like the cheese and the fruits and the crackers, it's just now in a form of grilled cheese. I don't know if I would call this grilled cheese. Maybe I should have put more cheese, but this is what Martha said to do. This is definitely different though, I think from what most of us would think grilled cheese is, but it's not bad. Next up, we have Chrissy Teigen. She uses two slices of sourdough bread and spreads some softened butter on each side. Then she arranges some sliced jalapeno onto each slice, making sure to press down so they stay there. And then she presses each side down into some finely grated Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. Then she flips them over and adds some shredded extra sharp cheddar cheese before closing it up and dropping it in a pan. Once one side is golden brown and extra crispy, she flips it over and repeats the same process. Take it out of the pan, Slice it up and boom, there you have it. Chrissy Teigen's grilled cheese. This one smells so different from the other ones because you smell the Parmesan. You know, it's like Parmesan cheese crisps. I feel like you get that smell instead of the butter. Lots of cheese in there too. I'm gonna give this a bite now. It's still buttery. I feel like for this one, the part, ooh, the jalapeno just hit me. It is spicy, ooh. I do like the heat that it gives though. It definitely like adds a kick to it that you normally wouldn't expect. And I think if you like Parmesan, this is definitely the grilled cheese for you. Texture wise, I do feel like it has that extra crisp maybe because of the Parmesan, but mostly I think it's the jalapenos that make this one stand out. Would have never thought of this idea. Pretty genius, huh? This next one is a fun one by the game. He starts off by putting some Takis in a mocajete and smashes them up. I didn't have that, so I just put them in a Ziploc bag and crush them with a rolling pin. He also said to shape the crushed chips into a heart, so I did that too. Then he dips each slice of bread in some egg, making sure that all of it is coated before dropping it in the Takis and covering the entire slice of bread completely. That's a lot of Takis. Then he puts some sliced American cheese in between and deep fries the whole sandwich to get it super crispy. Once it's done, take it out, slice it up, and that's it. The game's grilled cheese. This is the one that looks the most different. It is bright red. I've never had Takis before, and yeah, I think the red is a little intimidating. It smells really good. It smells like carnival food, but I think the cross section looks pretty cool. That coating of Takis, really cool. I feel like because there's so much flavor in the Takis, it definitely translates to this when we kind of coat the bread with it. I don't really taste the cheese anymore. Mostly I just taste the chips and the taste of fried bread. It's good in that kind of like, you probably can only eat this once every month kind of way. It's very, very loaded. But again, I would say this is a pretty creative idea. So kudos to the game for coming up with this idea. Pretty cool. Anthony is up next. He uses brioche in his recipe and he starts off by covering each slice with a lot of mayo, both for flavor and to make sure that the cheese sticks. Then he adds some grated extra sharp cheddar cheese, a slice of prosciutto and covers it all up with summer cheese. 
Then he tosses that into a very well buttered pan, making sure to press it down to help give it that golden brown color and extra melted goodness. Flip it over, do the same thing again, then remove it from the pan. Slice it diagonally, he insists, and here we have Anthony Porofsky's grilled cheese. It looks very neat and tidy. It's like a little pocket, so I'm gonna try this bite. Mm. I feel like for this one, the cheese didn't have that much time to melt before the bread got a little too brown. Brioche also just like soaks up butter a lot easier, I think. I wish the cheese was a little more melty, and I think overall it has like a more sweeter taste to it. Brioche is just a type of sweeter bread and it definitely comes out in this one. I like the prosciutto. I don't think that it's necessary, but it's a good sandwich, but it's just, I think, not the crispy grilled cheese sandwich that I would normally like. And last but not least, we have Kylie Jenner. Kylie starts by melting a very generous amount of butter in the pan, then she drops two slices of sourdough in and adds a couple slices of American cheese and seasons it up with some salt and pepper for extra flavor. Then she combines the two pieces, making sure the cheese gets gooey and starts oozing out, and then she slices it up, serves it up with some hot sauce and some hot Cheetos, and that's Kylie Jenner's grilled cheese. I feel like this grilled cheese looks like the most common one that I see. This looks closest to probably what I would make at home, so I'm gonna give it a try. I like that it's very buttery and crispy on the outside and I just got like a hit of spice which I think is from the hot sauce and I don't normally put salt and pepper in my grilled cheese but it's pretty good. Also this is sourdough bread which I think is perfect for grilled cheese because it's like chewy and it holds up. There's like some bite to it. It doesn't just like soak up all the butter. Yep, this combination totally works. After trying all five of these Celebrity Grilled Cheese recipes, I think my favorite out of the five is actually Kylie Jenner's grilled cheese recipe. It's so simple and so straightforward. It's like minimal ingredients, but it has that beautiful crisp on the outside. It uses sourdough bread. It has that chew. There's a lot of flavor in the cheese. The salt and pepper was a nice touch. I don't normally do that, but it does give it a little bit more flavor. And also the hot sauce. I liked that it gave a little bit of kick to it. And obviously the hot Cheetos actually go together really well. And there you have it, Kylie Jenner has the best grilled cheese recipe. What do you think? And also, what other celebrity recipes do you want us to test out next? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!